you know, it's summertime here in America and around the world, in the Northern Hemisphere, and people are getting out and getting a lot of sun, getting that good old suntan, and man, wouldn't a tall glass of lemonade sound great about right now? Well, I'm going to put out a tall glass of Mythbusters this afternoon on the myth that black people are somehow immune to the effects of the sun and that they don't tan in any way and that they wouldn't get skin cancer. And let's take a look at that. And you see tan lines on black people, and so you know that it actually gets to them worse. Well, it's just that they have an actual overall melanin, and then their melanin gets darker. Just as if a white person was to get very tanned, and then put something across their body in a portion, or sunblock, or things like that on a spot only, and then even get more tanned, there would be that lighter spot. And guys, you know we always love those sexy tan lines. But let's look into this myth about blacks and the sun. And let's look at the myth of whether or not they do get sunburned and do peel. For quite a bit of evidence shows you that they definitely can. If they're lighter complected from their admix then they definitely will get a lot darker at once. And if they stay out in the sun quite too long, they will sunburn just like white people do. And then peel just like white people do. And indeed, they'll end up with uh, those same telltale marks across their back. And uh, where they're necking up that was getting some sun, and their shoulders get far too much whenever it was hidden under a shirt, and it happens to all of us. Peel off and this ashy look and the way that you can peel it off like glue whenever you're a kid off your skin. And you have to sit and pick at it and try to get it all cleaned up. And then the area, of course, that doesn't get so burnt doesn't go away. So you're left with this two-tone look that... You have to get tanned somewhat again to even for it to blend back in. And it takes quite some time. I remember a childhood friend of mine wearing a holy shirt that had little holes all through it and a number on it from a football player. And it left that number on him all summer in this little grid pattern. But there's no reason to lie about getting sunburned or peeling or the effects of sun and the possibility of skin cancer because this is dangerous. And indeed, whenever your skin peels, it's actually getting that layer of skin off that has been irradiated, trying to automatically exfoliate yourself in a way to get rid of that. And it's a way to help keep from melanomas affecting you so much. Indeed, there are very many statistics that will show you that uh, African Americans can get sunburned and uh, they have a risk of getting skin cancer. And indeed, it's more deadly and more fatal to black people for a few different reasons. One of which is that they think this myth that they're actually immune to the sun uh, affects their decisions on things. And uh, so you find... Uh, you know, very dark complected people would be a little bit less likely than the lighter people to get it. But indeed, that's not the effect. The girl on the right is no less or more susceptible to getting it than the girl that's here on the left, nor the lady in the middle. Uh, God makes his choices and things happen for alternate reasons. And it's not enough of a scope of a difference for people to say that it's almost like they're immune because that would be a fallacy. Many people mistakenly believe that darker skin tone, the lower your risk of getting a sunburn or skin cancer, but unfortunately this misunderstanding is not only widespread but dangerous as well. Not only can African Americans or persons of color get sunburned, uh, everyone, 
uh, no matter their skin color or tone, is at a risk for sin cancer as well. And it can be very deadly. And if you don't catch it early enough, it will spread throughout your body and you will not be able to make it. And so um, African Americans have a risk of getting sunburned. When you think of people getting sunburned, you typically think of pale, freckled persons maybe with light colored eyes, but uh, not someone with brown or black or brown skin and brown eyes. But these people with black skin can get a sunburn right alongside their friends with the pale skin. It's true. I'm sure it isn't as easy to get sunburned, but if you have dark skin versus fair skin, but the risk is still there. That also means that everyone is at a risk for developing skin cancers. Now, skin color and tone is determined by cells in the outermost layer of our skin is called melanocytes, which produce melanin. Melanin is a pigment that gives both our skin and our eyes their color. Every human has the same number of melanocytes. Our skin is determined by the amount of melanin those cells produce. The more melanin produced, the darker our skin color. Dermatologists rank the risk of sunburn according to a Fitzpatrick scale. Now, Fitzpatrick scale goes from albino to dark chocolate negroid. And you'll find that very pale white or type 1s are an albino or perhaps actually just a uh, extreme pale complected red haired people that really the background doesn't get much darker than maybe third or second or third level on the scale but they end up freckling in a lot and then the freckles slowly fill in and almost cover their body with a, a, a patch of freckles and it happens around your cheeks and your, across your nose across your backs and your shoulders and every place that's more um, shown and that's indeed that ruddy appearance they talk about somewhat uh, even in biblical times then you have white skin which still burns easy and uh, but it tans minimally and it won't get too too tan and these are your general Nordic type people but by not getting too tan we mean getting darker than peanut butter darker than than that and that ability is still there but they can't get that dark Regular white skin in type 3 is what most Caucasoids have, and it, it burns minimally, uh, and it tans easily, and indeed you can get a very deep, rich bronze tan going on, although we try to avoid it nowadays uh, quite a bit. And of course you have to go shirtless and things and run around just in shorts constantly to get that, and your ass is still going to be just as pale as it ever would have been. And it won't be as pale as the background sheet of paper here, it'll actually be pale like the tanness of whatever phenotype and stuff that you fall up under. You get to type 4 and you get light brown or olive skin, and this is indeed uh, Italians, and a lot of people, uh, Greeks and so on, can fall under this trait, as well as going into your Mediterranean people, and uh, Arabs, uh, India, all these type of people, and indeed some Asians have this olivine trait to them too, um, though they cherish also lighter and paler skin. Um, and it burns very minimally and tans very easily also. Type 4 is brown skin that rarely burns and tans easily and it tans real darkly and this would be somebody who is more Arabic that can get extremely dark, admix people with negroids and lighter complected negroids from admix that can still get darker. And then type 5 is your common uh, negroid admix and uh, Melanesian Islanders uh, and South Indian people, the Dravidians and uh, Australian um, Aborigines where they'll have the dark brown to mahogany or black skin and it rarely burns always tans and deeply pigmented but uh, reread type 4 and 5 there and rarely is what it says and not never people who fall into types 4 and 5 can have a very large variety of skin colors and tones which depends on many things including genetics and nationality and exposure. If you don't know where you fall on the Fitzpatrick scale, ask your doc doctor uh, or aesthetician uh, next time you see them. Uh, knowing your Fitzpatrick number can help you properly protect your skin from the sun year-round, and it'll help know what uh, your uh, normal is. Of course, uh, generally you can easily do this yourself by just looking at the non-exposed parts of your body, uh, perhaps around your midsection, your butt, uh, inside of your arms, things like that that don't get exposed, 
and that'll tell you what your common number is versus your exposure. Most white people right now, if you look at the back of your arms, it's much darker than the inside of your arms. And if you're wearing a white t-shirt or anything white near you, compare it to that and you'll see just how dark it actually is. I'm looking dark out. I am actually. So, um, are you going to get a sunburn every time you're in the sun or you're there or if your skin is darker? Well, probably not. Uh, nevertheless, sunscreen isn't optional. Uh, just because it's rare for African Americans to get sunburns doesn't mean it won't happen. And indeed, you see a lot of them really need to lotion up and things like that, especially if they're going to be out in the sun quite a bit. It'll, it'll really destroy their skin and make them get real ashy. Uh, if they stay well moisturized, then uh, you can really keep a uh, quite young and vital skin for a long period of time. Sunburn on black skin looks different than sunburn on fair skin. A lot of the time, the skin redness that shows up on lighter skin tones isn't even really there or evident on dark skin. So it isn't as obvious to the people that they've gotten a sunburn. But tightness, pain, skin, it's hot to the touch, and peeling later all indicators you have had gotten a sunburn, no matter what your skin color. And then I indeed know patting a black guy on the back and telling me that he was sunburned before, so don't tell me they damn well don't get it. Remember, getting just one blistering sunburn ups your chance of skin cancer later in life, so be sure to apply sunscreen that's at least SPF 30 every day that you're going to be exposed out in the sun. And uh, it doesn't have to be everywhere, uh, generally on your uh, major places around your face and your hands, uh, backs of your arms, and things like that. If you're going to be less clothed, you might want to get it done all over. Um, so African Americans can get skin cancer. Another myth is that people with black skin don't get it, but it's flat out wrong. There are multiple types of skin cancer, and yes, having black skin does make it less likely for you to get some of them, but you might be surprised to know that while it's rare for black people to get melanoma, those um, who do have it are more likely to die and get further complications from the disease. Uh, did you know that Bob Marley actually died of melanoma? And I've, uh, I've mentioned that before in my uh, um, uh, ranting back to people in my post where they act like they're all immune to it and they have some kind of superior... Uh, melanin effect because of the sun and it loves them and all these things and stuff and uh, really the one that would seem to be uh, neat would be the adaptable um, Caucasian people where you have an adaptable melanin that magically changes to whatever you need and you get out in the summertime and it turns into what you need and in the wintertime it goes back so you can assimilate vitamin D3 this and, and the wide swing that we have now to even more paler seems to be something that's around around the last eight to ten thousand years um uh before then it was going to go to all of into up and there weren't really the first two that you see on the scale there evident even you know in humanity that we can find at this point genetics and dna will probably work a little bit better uh and tell us more uh here in the short future typical melanoma shows up on areas of the body that get regular sun exposure but melanoma can also occur in less typical places for those people with darker skin tones. And by this, we mean places that aren't the most exposed. For white people, you get it on your forearms, you get it on your nose, you get it on your neck, you get it on places that are extremely sunburnt all the time. Black people can have it um, uh, in their undersides, in their genitalia, in places that aren't even exposed, so it almost makes no sense, but that's where it shows up or becomes evident. Uh, Places such as the palm of the hand, soles of the feet, fingernail beds, and indeed that's where Bob Marley got his, that was uh, in a toenail. Uh, because of the mis misconception that black people can't get skin cancer, and because people aren't informed that melanoma can arise in a atypical locations in black skin, people with darker skin tones are diagnosed later sometimes, and that's actually too late for melanoma treatment. Uh, melanoma can be fatal if not treated early enough. So if you have black skin, Skin, please don't assume that your risk of skin cancer is at zero and that you're somehow got some magic melanin because uh, it's not true. Regular check your skin for suspicious moles. Have the other people look at them. See a doctor if something looks or feels different in your skin and anywhere in your skin or under your nails. And uh, I'm serious about that when I say it. Hey, nobody wants to see somebody die for some stupidity and beliefs that they have that some kind of like mumbo jumbo superstition that really isn't based on science or fact 
So, do black people get sunburns? Yeah, yeah, they do. Do black people get skin cancer? Yeah, yeah, they do, and it can be a lot more fatal. Um, what you see, the freckling background here, is not a good thing to have, generally. And uh, being out in the sun again like this guy is exposed while he's in a double sunburned effect is really a terrible idea. And it could cost you your life. But let's not go around believing stupid false lies, myths and strange things, you know. Walk up under a ladder. It's not healthy. Neither is not understanding how the sun works with your body. Y'all have a great summer. Peace.